does the soft life benefit black men? I thought it had something to do with trying to attract a provider man so you could be a stay at home mother, but absolutely not. So I'm not with nobody because I don't want to hurt nobody. Did it over text, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you want to be somebody, even if you got to leave somebody. One of the concerns was marriage was not involved, relationships were never mentioned, black men were never mentioned. So if there were any black men that thought that this had something to do with them trying to be better candidates for marriage for black men, since we marry black women at the highest rate, the soft life from what I've seen has nothing to do with men. It is very uh, inclusive, very selfish. It is very uh, independent of men. Soft life is just basically taking care of self. I heard that countless times on the videos that I watched, taking care of self self-care so that was one of the things that i was uh, that that i wasn't aware of i thought it had something to do with trying to attract a provider man so you could be a stay-at-home mother but absolutely not soft life has something to do with just being in tune with oneself manifesting certain things independency luxury lifestyle and it has nothing to do with men it was eye-opening you know and also you know the concern of the financial chaos that we're going through Black women leading with the education debt. So if you're a woman who's trying to live a soft life and you have other family responsibilities, such as your kids, then this may not be the season for you. You need to earn a little bit more money. And then also, I only heard one woman mention mental health in regards to the soft life. Out of the 30 videos that I watched, there was only one woman that mentioned mental health. Because if you look at the word or the term soft life, entering soft life, that basically means that you're one afforded the opportunity to live a soft life in your past. So you're trying to enter the soft life out of the quote unquote hard life. So that means that you've went through something in the past to where now you're like, you know what? I got to stop living this hard life and dealing with, let's say, these types of men and being in these toxic relationships or toxic jobs. And I'm entering my soft life. But have you addressed that through therapy? Because if you're going into the soft life, and you haven't addressed those issues that you had while you were living the hard life, then that's a problem. You went through something in the past because that's why you're trying to live a soft life. And in particular, the older women, there was an older woman that I watched and she was, she had kids, but they were older. And she was like, yeah, I'm entering my soft life now, which basically means that she was working hard and working hard. That's one of the things I want to commend those ladies on. They made it clear that they weren't telling women that you're not going to have to work. They were just talking about not having to work as hard. If you're working a job that you don't like and it's not within your wheelhouse or things that you like to do, then try and uh, direct your career path to something that you enjoy doing to where when you go to work and you clock in, you have some sense of fulfillment from doing that job. And that also caught my attention because a lot of our women go to college, they'll get a degree, and they never use it. So I'm like, well, that would be the perfect time to understand, hey, what do you really like to do? And then once you go in that career field to try and do that and see if that gives you fulfillment. Instead of working hard or trying to hustle, they mentioned hustle culture, which basically means working three or four different jobs just to make ends meet. I see that a lot. I'm going to pull from the Fresh and Fit show. There's literally, when they ask, well, what do you do for a living? There's women on there that'll, I I'm a, last technician. I do bottle service. I work at a restaurant as a waitress. And then I do something else on the side. And I also have a sugar daddy. So just to make ends meet, they have to work many jobs. So the soft life, I guess they're trying to consolidate that into one good paying job and then build on that in regards to, you know, probably building your own business, you know, like the profit income, things of that nature. So yeah, that was one of my concerns as well, you know, and they actually touched on that. Not working hard, but, you know, still having to work and understanding that you're going to need to bring an income in to enjoy the soft life. Now, <laughs> does the soft life benefit black men? It seems like it's a trend and not something that's sustainable, even though none of these women mentioned black men. But I would assume relationships fall into their future. If soft life is based around self, does that include becoming a better woman? for the man that you want to marry. And let me be clear, I only mentioned black men, like I said, because of that 85% clip. But 
in the general aspect, from what I've seen, it wasn't anything that had to do with the things that men would like in a wife. You know, can you be a good mother? Do you know how to cook? Are you compassionate, caring? Are you working on yourself to become a better person? You know, in regards to your uh, your character, none of these things were mentioned in regards to what would make you a better wife in the future. And so, with that, I think I can honestly say that I <laughs> it's not anything generated around finding a man. It's just them being, I guess, true to themselves living the soft life and enjoying luxury items and things of that nature. So yeah, I don't think the aim is a man. And if it is in a roundabout way, because like I said, I'm all for anything that pushes black women to be more feminine. I will definitely support that. Right. So in a roundabout way, if you have more feminine women, then yes, that would benefit black men. But if the femininity is based off of buying luxury items and it has nothing to do with what would make you a better girlfriend, a better wife. If it has nothing to do with that, then I don't see it benefiting men in any way. Because one of the things that a lot of men understand now is that we want a woman who's going to be an asset and not a liability. And from what I see in conclusion on The Soft Life is that it's just, it's somewhat pushing women to be liabilities to men. Because in order to maintain a soft life, you have to spend a lot of money from what I see. And in order to be a soft life woman full time, then it's going to, you know, you got to put on uh, this air of being rich and successful. And that's the overarching opinion that I got. Now, granted, the young women from YouTube, they kept it very real. They were very soft. They seemed very feminine. And they also made sure to make sure that women understand that your finances have to be in check if you want to live a fine or a soft life. But it has nothing to do with men. So if you're a woman looking to enter the soft life, um, it's going to take some money. But So make sure your finances are in order and uh, enjoy yourself. That's all I can say. But if that's your goal is to try and find a man, I would suggest that you know work on some things that will be more attractive to men. It's not just about being feminine. It's how can you be an asset to a man instead of a liability?